I'm not sure how you follow uh, Andy Barr from Kentucky with that uh, narrative, but I will try. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you all for being here and uh, thank my friend, classmate, uh, Kat Kamak, for putting this bill forward. The American people deserve a government that they can trust. The Biden administration has overstepped the legislative branch to repeatedly tack on burdensome regulations that are the root cause of some of the crises we're seeing today, especially in the energy sector, which is so important to my home state. Look no further than the waters of the U.S. rule, which greatly increases the number of bodies of water that are subject to federal regulation and places an undue burden on farmers and ranchers. This is a clear violation of property rights, and yet another example of how the government agencies are overreaching into our daily lives. Similarly, the SEC emissions disclosure proposed rule is not only unnecessary, but it is also a burden on businesses that will stifle economic growth. The SEC is supposed to regulate securities and protect investors, not regulate emissions and focus on environmental concerns. The Biden administration's effort to ban gas stoves is the latest attempt to force the Green New Deal on all Americans who rely heavily on gas-powered stoves and heaters, myself included. It's astonishing how out of touch they are with the needs of the American people. These rules are just another example of the executive overreach and their attempt con to control our aspect of life. It is hardworking Oklahomans that are bearing the brunt of these regulations. We need to safeguard property rights, businesses, and the way of life. And I am very proud to join my colleagues that stand before you and many others who are not here to support the RAINS Act, which will protect Americans and rein in our federal bureaucracy. Thank you. And at this time, I would invite Rep. 